Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to properly install your NVIDIA graphics drivers to make sure that you get the best performance out of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe as I will be posting more videos like this every other week on Mondays at 5 p.m. East. So the first thing we're going to do is download all the files that we're going to be using. You want to join my Discord server, which is linked in the description below. Once you join it, you want to head over to the program channel right here. In the pinned messages, you'll find DDU. You want to click on that and download it. This is basically a zip file, so you're going to want to extract it and put it somewhere where you can easily find it. I'm just going to put it in a folder called DDU on my desktop so I can easily get it. Once you do that, you want to go back to my Discord server and download NV Clean install. Once you download that, again, you want to put it somewhere where you can easily find it. This isn't a zip file, so you can just drag it straight onto your desktop like this. Once you have everything installed, you want to open the DDU folder right here. DDU basically stands for Display Driver Uninstaller and it's the tool that we use to completely and cleanly uninstall our graphics driver without leaving anything behind. To use this, we're going to click on the EXE right here and then click Extract. It's going to create another DDU folder right here. We're going to run Display Driver Uninstaller.exe as administrator. And in here, we're just going to be setting it up right now. You're going to get a little pop up right here. You want to click OK to that. You want to make sure that remove his X is checked and that prevent downloads of drivers is also checked and then click close and then you're going to see a pop up right here saying that it's detected that you are not in safe mode because we do have to run this in safe mode so we're going to click OK and then exit out of this. So the easiest method to go into safe mode is just clicking Windows key R and then typing msconfig right here and then clicking enter. Once you do that you want to go over to boot make sure that you have your current OS that you're on right now selected check the safe boot option click apply and OK and then restart I'm gonna restart my PC and I'll see you guys when I'm in safe mode now I can't really record when I'm in safe mode so we're gonna pretend that I'm in safe mode here but once you guys are in safe mode you wanna click Windows key R again and go to msconfig in here you wanna go over to boot and then make sure that you select your OS that you're currently on and uncheck safe boot but this time you want to click apply, OK, and then exit without restart. Once you do that, you want to open a DDU folder, go open DDU again. You want to right click on display driver on installer, click run as administrator. And then in here, you shouldn't get a pop up that says you're not in safe mode because you should be in safe mode. But once you do that, you want to click select device type, go to GPU, make sure that NVIDIA is selected and then click clean and restart. I'll come back when it's done. Now that you've completely uninstalled your graphics driver, you want to actually install the driver now, which is what we're going to be using NV Clean Install for. You want to right click it and run it as administrator. Once you do that, you should be able to see Microsoft Basic Display Adapter or something like that, and that's because you don't have any driver right now. If that's the case, then that's perfectly fine. What you want to do is click manually select the driver version right here. And in here, I recommend just clicking the latest DCH driver. For me, it's 581.80. For you, it might be something else by the time of this video. If you click the top one and you download this, but you have issues for some reason, you can always go to the one below it, but usually the latest one is the best. Once you do that, you want to click on Next. And in here, if you use NVIDIA Highlights or NVIDIA Clipping Software or Shadow Play, you're going to have to select a bunch of these, but I don't recommend you do that at all. We just need the display driver, which is required right here and automatically checked for us. So we're going to click next. And in here is basically just going to get the driver for us. Once NV Clean Install got your driver for you, you're going to have a bunch of tweaks right here that you can apply before you install your drivers. What I recommend you check is disable installer telemetry and advertising select perform a clean installation you want to make sure that disable multiplane overlay is left unchecked i see a bunch of people check this but you need this to run full screen optimizations properly so you want to make sure that this is unchecked you can check disable ansel right here and then use show expert tweaks this is just going to unlock a bunch of more settings that you can change in here i recommend disabling driver telemetry disable nvidia hd audio device sleep timer Enable message signaled interrupts. You can leave these on default for now. You want to also disable HDCP. And then on the bottom right here, you just want to check both of these options so you don't get any issues during the installation. Once you do that, you want to click next.
now that it applied all of those tweaks you click install right here and it's basically going to run the nvidia driver installer for you once you have this you can click agree and continue click custom next perform a clean installation next and it's going to install it for you My recording got cut mid-installation because it needs a graphics driver, but that's completely fine. Once you go through with the installation and you're basically done with it, you could close out of all windows and restart your PC to make sure that everything is clean and that your driver is installed. That's really it when it comes to installing your graphics drivers as cleanly and properly as possible. This does reset a bunch of GPU tweaks or NVIDIA tweaks that you do apply, so you're going to have to reapply those. I have a couple NVIDIA videos that you can watch where you can set up your GPU and tweak it completely in order to get the best performance and best latency out of it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and as I will be posting more videos like this every other week on Mondays at 5 p.m. East. If you have any content suggestions, make sure you join the Discord server and let me know in the chat what you want to see. But that's really it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.